Welcome back to The Jam on The U. It is 722, and the farm-to-table movement has become pretty trendy these days. But for the last 30 years, a CPS high school in the Mount Greenwood area has been using that same platform for their entire curriculum. Take a look at how teacher Brittany Key is instilling her students with a love for Mother Earth. She's today's Real Chicagoan. I didn't know I was going to be a teacher, and I never thought I'd be coming back to my school in which I was taught at. My junior, senior year, I chose the horticulture pathway, and then I went on to Michigan State University where I studied horticulture. And this was the only school that I applied to. I was super excited because I've always been interested in plant sciences, and so I thought maybe coming here would give me the opportunity to kind of explore that a little better. My students, they start everything from seed, they water it, they nurture it, they take care of it, and they plant it on the field. So everything that you see here, the students do. And they know the importance that one seed can feed a family, it can feed a community. Miss Key is like, I, she's just one of the best teachers that I've ever had. She just, she actually cares about the curriculum and the students and what we're learning. And we've just learned like so much this year. It's changed a lot about how I view and understand agriculture. This school has taught me about business, it's taught me about farming, it's taught me about animals. I can take it with me later on in life and, you know, tell others who don't know or teach others who don't know and get them to realize that my knowledge can be your knowledge and together we can make the right decisions. It really mixes in with your everyday life and it's just, it comes so naturally after you start to take the class. I want my students to have their own opinions and their own thoughts about the ag industry, about genetic modification, about pesticide use, about um, plant genetics. Not one time would I pick up a bag of chips and not look at the nutrient facts. And because I learned different things, you know, GMOs, what's good for you, what's not. You get a chance to understand certain things and not just understand them, but use them and help other people. I would start a garden just for the simple fact that like I can now grow, first of all, and second of all, like it's just better and it tastes fresher. Like it's very easy to like implement it within your own family. This really excites me and really makes me happy and I, I'm really passionate about this because I really couldn't see myself doing anything else besides horticulture. It's just, this is my life. Brittany Key joins us right now with a farm-to-table feast of tasty treats. Brittany, so great to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. I love what you guys are doing. What is it? What is the difference when kids actually see the food that they're eating? It makes a huge difference. I think a lot of times, a lot of our kids take advantage of vegetables. They're like, ugh, vegetables, that's gross. But um, when they actually produce a lot of the product from seed and then plant it on the farm and then watch it progress and then actually harvest, they have a better appreciation for what they do. Yeah, and then you can make dishes like this one, right? Absolutely. It's so our, tell me about this one. It's our apple crisp. Um, Sounds but good. <laughs> the tricky part about it is it's made of zucchini, so there's no apples in it at all. But it tastes just like apple pie. So. And they're learning how to make this. Absolutely. Awesome. And you have a fundraiser planned. Um, tell us when that's happening. So August 17th, we're having our farm-to-table fundraiser. Um, it is at 6 p.m. We have all the products from our farm. Whittingham Meats has donated a lot of the meats that will be featured at our farm to table and all the produce is coming from our farm. Wow. And so I kind of thought that the pop tax, some of those proceeds should go to schools to invest in these types of programs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it possible for schools to implement this? I'm not sure, but I, I know for sure that um, we're doing the best that we can to fundraise and promote our program and we appreciate all the support that the community gives and. Um, we're excited. We're super excited. I'm excited for you. This is awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today. And for more information on the backyard harvest happening at the Chicago High School for Agriculture Sciences, just head to chicagoag.org.